can show you guys um, the effects afterwards after I washed all the flour off. So what we're looking at here is the broadhead, obviously. Nice triangular cut. This is the arrowhead. Um, again, those things are really surprising me. You know, the size of the holes that they make. People talk about that they're not as effective because they only have two cutting edges as opposed to three or four. But I think mean, that's, that's absolutely true. But also to take into consideration as those arrowheads are about four times the thickness of these blades and they're very serrated. And you can see this, the size of the holes they make. I've been very impressed as I've been doing these tests with the arrowheads and broadheads. And this right here is my 270 short mag. You can see the effects of that, um, or the shot, uh, right after this quick review. I tried to keep all three of them separate, and here they were. But as you'll see, as, they, as that bullet goes through each blade, because I put all three of them together, it starts to align itself, unfortunately. Over here, we have, here's the broadhead, and it used to look similar to um, this until that 270 short mag came through and blew out that whole section. And here's the arrowhead, again making, you can see the edges of where the arrowhead was, and making a very large hole. And on the moose, Unfortunately, it really aligned itself. Here is one of the blades right here from the broadhead, and then that 270 short mag was all mushroomed by now, and it blew out the whole section. And right here, you can see from there to there is the edges of the arrowhead. So, arrowheads are not for reuse. But again, pretty darn interesting on how much of a hole that arrowhead makes as it goes through. And there's the elk. Pretty amazing. If you want to stick around, I've got the uh, 270 short mag. I'm going to put all three of these, uh, or I did put all three of these together with their flower bags attached and blast through all three of them. Sure appreciate you guys watching. It's a lot of fun testing these arrows out.